Following, we have a very intricate tool called the Perspective Grid Tool. This, right when selected, is going to open up a 3D which has points along the horizon that we can actually even perfect and play with. Lots of features on this tool. So this would be like looking at a building from below. And then this would be like looking at a building from above. So there's a whole bunch of features. And the cool thing about this is you can type text. You can anything vector. And this can be snapped to part of the grid if you take the second tool, the perspective select tool. And you can pretty much move it around. So now that we've moved our object along this grid, it's time to try to move it along this grid. So with the second option in the perspective um, tool menu is perspective selection tool. So with that selected, you can hit one, two, and three, the numbers, and you can see my cube is changing. So one is left, two is bottom, three is right. So with that selected, so now with that selected and my perspective tool selected, you can see I can now move it along another grid. So that's kind of cool because you can do nice 3D effects. Uh, you can build buildings. You could um, all sorts of stuff using the perspective grid tool.